Skene's glands are located around the urethra in women and are often referred to as the female prostate. The prostate in males and the Skene's glands in females both have a common origin in the indifferentiated tissues of the genital system. In the early stages of embryotic development, both male and female embryos possess a gonadal tissue that has the potential to develop into either testes or ovaries. The fate of this indifferentiated gonadal tissue is determined by the presence or absence of certain genetic signals, particularly those associated with the presence of the Y chromosome. If the embryo carries a Y chromosome and other genes necessary for sexual differentiation, indicating a male, the indifferentiated gonadal tissue develops into testes. The testes then release hormones, including testosterone, which directs the development of male reproductive organs. If the embryo does not have a Y chromosome, indicating a female, the gonadal tissue develops into ovaries. The absence of certain hormones leads to the development of female reproductive structures. The Skene's glands, also known as female prostate, are two small glands located on either side of the urethra in the female reproductive system. They are found near the opening of the urethra at 5 and 7 o'clock around the urethral orifice just inside the vulva. Each skein's gland is about the size of a pea and is made up of asini, which are small clusters of cells that produce the glandular fluid. The fluid is then drained through a single duct near up the urethra opening. The exact function of Skene's glands is still being researched, but they are believed to play a role in both urinary and sexual health. They may secrete a fluid that helps lubricate the urethra during urination. This can help to prevent urinary tract infections. Like the male prostate gland, Skene's glands also play a role in sexual health. When aroused, the tissue around the Skene's glands and the clitoris becomes swollen due to increased blood flow to the area. As the Skene's glands become stimulated, they secrete mucus containing fluids, which help with lubrication during vaginal intercourse. This can make sexual intercourse more pleasurable. The volume of fluid stored in the Skene's glands is variable and depends on several factors. Some women experience a forceful expulsion of fluid during orgasm, referred to as female ejaculation. While the source of this fluid is debatable, Skene's glands are considered a potential contributor, potentially adding to the expelled volume. Female ejaculation refers to about a teaspoon, three to five cc of fluid expelled through the urethra that looks like watered down fat-free milk. Tastes sweet and does not smell like urine. 
the main component is water, which makes up the bulk of skin's gland secretions and provides a base for other components. Like sweat, skin's gland fluid also contains electrolytes like sodium, potassium, and chloride, which help maintain the fluid's balance and electrical conductivity. Prostate-specific antigen, PSA, that found in male seminal fluid and is also present in the skin's gland fluids. Other factors are prosthetic acid phosphatase, glucose, fructose, immunoglobulins, which help defend against infections and mucus. While the presence of PSA in the fluid has led to the belief that the skin's glands may be functionally similar to the male prostate, but yet they are not entirely analogous in terms of function and role in reproductive physiology.